Hey, Bill, we're wanting to buy a home, my spouse and I together. The problem is one of us has really good credit and good income, but the other one's credit isn't so good. Is that going to hurt us? Can we still buy a home? And uh, in this particular situation, we had a client last month that was very similar to what I just described. And if we had left both of them on the loan, the lower borrower's credit score would have drugged down the file and made it much more expensive in terms of mortgage insurance and interest rate for them. So what we were able to do, we were able to leave that borrower off the loans. We didn't use their credit. We didn't use their income. And important note here, credit and income are tied together. So if you're using one person's credit, you have to use their income. If you're using their income, you have to use their credit. So you're not able to use someone's income, but not use their credit. So there's two parts to every transaction. There's the ownership and the debt. So in this case, we left the spouse off of the debt but they were still on part of the ownership. So they were protected and they were happy. In fact, I would venture to say that they were in a better position because they had the ownership. They didn't have the debt. They didn't have the responsibility. And another benefit to them is if they go to buy a car or something else later on, the mortgage debt isn't going to weigh them down in terms of debt to income calculation for the car loan.